Ladies and gentlemen, 40 years ago tonight, the Vancouver Canucks began their NHL journey, and tonight we begin our celebration of 40 years of this game we love. Tonight, we are pleased to bring home 16 members of our inaugural 1970-71 Vancouver Canucks. Each team member will be joined by an individual who represents the greater Canucks family, you, our fans, our staff, and the children from this community we are proud to call home. This player was in goal for 15 wins in that inaugural season, arriving on the West Coast as a Vezina Trophy winner in Montreal. Number one, Charlie Hodge. Charlie is joined by event host Vern Frick, who's been with the club since the days of the Western Hockey League Canucks in 1964. He recorded the first shutout in Canucks history. Number 30, Dunk Wilson. Dunk is joined by a gentleman who's been an event host since 1974, Mr. Bill Sviatko. Next, please welcome one of the most prominent men in Canucks franchise history. On the first team, he was number three, Pat Quinn. Pat is joined tonight by a longtime season ticket holder, a fan who celebrated his 16th birthday on October 9th of 1970. Please welcome from Surrey, Bob Hackney. This player scored the first ever unforgettable Canucks goal on opening night. Barry Wilkins. Barry is joined by 11-year-old Michael Hua from Burnaby Minor Hockey. As smooth a center as ever there was, he led the Canucks in scoring in four of their first five seasons, Andre Boudriga. Andre is joined by Janet English, who has been an event host for the team since 1981. Please welcome a player who had one of the greatest nicknames in Canuck history, number nine, Eddie Sokhatoum. Eddie is joined by another event host for the team since 1975, Mr. Vince Primarano. From a hockey playing family, from the North Stars to the first year Canucks, number 10, Ray Cullen. Ray is joined tonight by a season ticket holder since 1970 from Vancouver, Mr. Michael Chang. A tough winger in center who scored 21 goals the first season, number 12, Mike Corrigan. Mike has been joined by 12-year-old Andrew Nielsen from the Canucks Autism Network. And who also plays hockey for the Vancouver Minor Hockey Association and at the Britannia Hockey Academy. This player joined the team during their first season, powering up what would be an excellent NHL career. Number 14, Bobby Schmutz. Bobby is joined by Doug McLeod from Langley, who's been a season ticket holder as well since 1970. Now, please welcome a right winger who scored 34 goals that first year. The first Canuck to score four goals in one game. Number 15, Cracklin Rosie, Roser Paymont. Roser is joined by Canuck Press Box attendant since 1983, Bill Hinksman. A tough winger who helped the Western League Canucks win two championships and then brought his muscle to the NHL Canucks. Number 16, Ted Taylor. Ted has been joined by a season ticket holder since 1976. Originally from Trail, B.C., Ron Oginski. Please welcome another hard worker. He played on a high-scoring line with Boone and Rosie. Number 18, Paul Popale. Paul is joined by a season ticket holder since 1974, Colleen Hutchinson. Now, the first player taken by the Canucks in the amateur draft. He collected 56 points as a 19-year-old rookie. He wore number 19, Dale Talon. Dale 
is joined tonight by 13-year-old Callum Strachan from West Bank in the Okanagan. Callum is representing the children and families of Canuck Place Children's Hospice, where he benefits from the Sibling Support Services Program. Welcome, Callum. Now the only BC-born player on that first-year Canucks roster from trail number 22, Garth Rizzuto. Garth has been joined by the voice of the Vancouver Canucks for their first 30 years. A member of the BC Sports Hall of Fame, the BC Hockey Hall of Fame, the Canadian Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame, and the Hockey Hall of Fame, Mr. Jim Robson. He had 59 points that first season playing on a line with Orlan Curtin back and Wayne Mackey, number 23, Murray Hall. Murray is joined by another Canucks season ticket holder since 1970, Mr. Orville T. Brill. And finally, please welcome the team leader. The first captain of those 1970 Vancouver Canucks, number 25, Orland Curtinback. Orland is joined by the man who has been the Canucks dressing room attendant since the 1960 WHL Canucks season, a past recipient of the Jake Milford plaque for outstanding service to hockey in BC, the man your Canucks all call shooter, Ronnie Shoot. Of the original NHL team roster, there are a few players who are not with us tonight. However, we are pleased to welcome members of the families of Mr. George Gardner, Mr. Danny Johnson, and Mr. Wayne Mackey. Prior to tonight's ceremonial face-off, we invite you to join us as we celebrate an accomplishment that is a first in the 40-year history of this NHL franchise. to center ice for a very special presentation from your first captain, Orland Curtinback. <laughs> Henrik Sedin, would you please join Orland at center ice? of your Vancouver Canucks, Henrik City.
Now, Canucks fans, would you please welcome from the BC Hockey Hall of Fame, Mr. Jason Beck. Jason is carrying the puck from the first ever Vancouver Canucks goal scored on this very day 40 years ago tonight by Barry Wilkins. And we are honored to have Kings captain Dustin Brown joining Orland Curtain back, our first ever goal scorer Barry Wilkins, and our new captain Henrik Sedin for tonight's ceremonial faceoff. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Orland. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you, and congratulations, Henrik. And thank you to all of the members of the Canucks family who have joined us at Center Ice tonight.